Good day everybody, welcome to another video, this is Jerry from Bullshit Corner, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, do some fun easy projects for the next little bit before we dive down and go deep into the TJ to finish it off. As you guys probably seen, you already know what I'm going to be building, but I'm going to go over some of the parts that I am using. First off, I got the hose. And I'm hoping that 50 feet of hose will be enough. We're about to find out. I got the hose clamps. They're not ideal. I Really to clean it up, you want to get those clamps that pinch on. But my local Princess Auto wasn't able to find them. So I got a quick coupler for some fittings. I may or may not be using those. 3 8 hose barb tees. Because my hose is 3 8 3 8 hose barb to quarter inch MPT these are the screw on tire valves so they'll screw onto my tires so I can bleed down or air up this is for the secondary compressor because I'm going to run the main compressor in my Jeep and I'm also going to hook up that other one that I carry along and this is a liquid filled pressure gauge and I bought these fittings to work along with it but then when I was getting close to the checkout I found an air inline regulator with a gauge, which might actually work out better my way I want it because when I'm filling up, I can set it to 35, 30 PSI when I'm filling. It'll fill up to that, won't allow anything else. And of course, this is the manifold that's going to start making it all. So the first thing I want to do is, of course, these two fittings have to come out. This one has to come out. I need to screw a barb into this one and these two to get myself started. So I'm gonna cut two lengths of 20 feet, except for this one right here. I'm gonna cut two feet right off the bat and then two 20 foot lengths and then I'll have the rest to work with what I need. I've been meaning to build one of these for a long time, but just never, never got around to it. So what I need is my tape measure. And I'm gonna measure off two feet right off the bat. That's right here. It's gonna be the first part, doesn't really matter. If I'm close, will this hose cutter cut it? Yes, it will. Perfect. Try to get this as perfect as I can. Sucks when you're pulling from the inside. Seven. Eight. Ten, I'm gonna mark it right there. That's all right. Cause 20 feet is right there. Do that, one piece, repeat the process. Oh. You must use some sort of glue sealant. Yeah, it looks like it. Man, I'd like to know what they used. Whatever they used is definitely on there good. Is that good? This is... What the heck? I had a wrench for that size. Oh, that's not the right size. What the hell's going on here? I don't know how that came about. Whoops. There. I 
little bit of lube goes a long way. I don't have enough room. Let's plug this in. See where it's gonna sit. There we go. So you got one line ran. Come to the back here. Everything's plugged in. In case if you didn't notice, I changed around the ball valve configuration. I had the ball valve coming off the manifold, which is really kind of pointless because I wouldn't be able to realize how much air pressure is in there. And I actually didn't really need to buy this part. The regulator is only going to slow the amount of air down that's going to be filling up the tires versus if I just would have went with the glycerin gauge in the T because most times I'm probably just going to crank it to max and fill up on max but if I wanted to build up more pressure in the compressor versus filling up the tires I might go that route eventually I'm going to have two compressors come in anyways I'm getting kind of carried away so coming back to the table I got these pieces all fit up and these are what screw into the valve stems in your tires allow you to bleed down or air up I got one set up on there and I just kind of laid it out because I want to know where I'm going to put the T in so I'm going to put the T in right where the tire is and then I already got the hose on the other side coming up here I'm going to insert that do it up and run it to the opposite side So if you're building your own, you'll just bypass the whole middle leg and this part here. This is only to add my second compressor that I got to ease the pain and suffering of filling it up. So I just got a quick connect that I can hook it up to another air compressor or hook up tools or something, but that just goes in there then. So I got my T's and my valve stem adapters, two chunks of hose that are 20 inches each. I'm just gonna start getting these all put together. Take the hose. Or you think it's gonna be good? Connect my parts here. That side's done. Ball valve is shut. So I guess theoretically we could go ahead. Start threading these in. Like I said, these just I'm losing air out of somewhere. Well, these aren't working out like I hope they would. Well. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to be, but however, I can rectify that situation. I got some ball valves coming in that at each valve stem is going to be a ball valve that's going to be shut while I hook everything up. And I got to go around and open everything up. Be a little bit pain in the butt, but I don't see any other way around this with the adapters that I got. So I just got it on the bench until I get the parts you need. I could have just edited everything out and then showed you the completed product working the way it should. However, I like to show you guys my train of thought. That way you guys know how I'm thinking and how things really turn out. So, like I said before, the ball valve will go between these pieces right here and I should be good. And if you do plan on building one, definitely don't go with hose clamps. It looks like ass. I just put some tape on them. But you definitely want the low profile clamps that you squeeze would make things look a lot smoother but i'm using with
with what I was able to get at the moment. Probably not going to be able to hear the wind rustling through, but she's getting mucky outside. Finally, the cold weather has snapped. It's in the plus digits. Everything's melting. And I got the parts I needed to finish this off. So now I can put a ball valve in there. I guess I can Butter fingers! It'd go that way. So then I won't have that issue where when I screw one on that all the air is going to start leaking out. So I just installed the ball valves and I don't know how I feel about them. I think they're uh, pretty cheap because I broke one tightening it. You can see right there, she split. Can't expect much, there's no no working rating on them. So they could be good for five pounds, 10 pounds, who knows. So I'm gonna hook this up and see what happens. So far so good. They're all hooked up. None of them are leaking. Oh, oops, gotta watch that glass. One of these days I'm gonna bust that glass. Well, I would just be feeling air into the main tank to equalize it, but if I want to use it as an air down, I would just have to let it vent, but I'm just gonna put some air in that tank. Well, yeah, I stand corrected because I could use the regulator valve. So with the valve closed, I have it hooked up to where my portable air compressor will go. So now we can start filling it up. Get it back up to like 35 pounds. About 35 there, about 35 there. Should be good to go. Disconnect. So I did get a chance to take it out and test it and not happy with it. So we're going to make some more changes. So this is one of these moments where you have a vision and in your vision, things don't work out the way you want them to. And does the air up tool work? Yes. Am I happy with it? No. So we're going to clean it up and we're going to make it look a hundred times better. Earlier today, I went down to my princess auto, picked up the parts that I needed. And this was on sale. And the reason why I picked up this is because I needed the quarter inch female where on the divider it had the quarter inch male, which afterwards I decided, you know what? I need a, a quick connect. That way things aren't binding up in case I have issues tangled up, whatever. And also when I was at Princess Auto, I picked up these hydraulic fittings earlier when I purchased all this stuff. So we need to clean it up. So this setup right here, has to go these hose clamps got to go these style of ball valves have to go as well i picked up this style of ball valve it is more Let me try to get one out it's a lot cleaner looking and also i picked up this clamp kit with some bands i don't know what size it is once i figure out i'll have to probably order more because i'm going to build a second one of these and then we're going to band it so it looks a lot cleaner. Because let's face it. That looks like ass. So I just skipped all the B-roll to come to the end product and what I did to rearrange it. So now everything can be taken apart. I don't have to worry about it being tangled up or anything else. So the tires will connect to these two. The secondary air fill will connect to this. I went to a liquid gauge. Put that little small valve in compared to this setup and that setup. Coming over to the hose itself, I put all the bands on. That cleans it up really nice. Quick connect right there. We are looking way cleaner. That looks way nicer than using those other small valves that I had before. These brass ones in the bag that I'm going to send back. 
So now, let's take the Jeep outside and hook this up. I just got everything hooked up and because I have the quick connect and the valves open, it's not gonna purge air until it's plugged in. And doing it this way with the quick connect is that I'm not messing around trying to untangle hose and wasting time. So now, I can also use this as a bleed down tool that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna connect this and then we're gonna bleed them down to about 18, 16 PSI and then we're gonna pump it up. So I should have actually plugged these in beforehand because as soon as I plug in one, air is gonna start coming out the other side. Perfect. So now it says probably about 30 PSI. Crack that valve open. We're bleeding down. So I have a bleed down tool because the valve cores aren't removed. It's probably just quicker to use a tool to bleed down, but it's still usable if you had to. That gauge is kind of off because it's brass and with MPT fittings, once you get them to a certain spot, they don't want to go anymore and the brass likes to round easy. So that's why I'm sitting there. What am I at? About 22 PSI. Okay, I'm all hooked up. About 18 PSI. I got the small air compressor hooked up and it's set with an automatic shut off. So that's how I'm gonna know roughly when my tires are full. So I'm gonna turn that on, start filling. Come over here, open up the side valve. Just open it up slowly so I don't pin the gauge. Two compressors makes things nice. I'm actually gonna add a second compressor up there, then I'll be good. I'm already at like 25 PSI. Looking good, looking good. So I have about 35 PSI, so I just turned the valve off to the compressor. So I don't need it running no more. Whoops. I think I, uh, I disconnected my power. Shut her down. Plug her back in. Reset. This little compressor has been an all-star. I bought it a couple years ago and people laughed at it. But this thing kicks butt. For like around $100. This thing's money. We just shut off. 35.5. Come back over here. Yeah, we are definitely pretty close. I'm satisfied with the rebuild. Better clamps, disconnects, nicer valves. We're good to go. All right, do you know what time it is? Motherfucking beer time. We're gonna change it up for the beer. I got this. First Crush White IPA, 6.2% alcohol by Trolley 5. And we're going to try this. So this is brewed in actually Calgary, Alberta. All right, local beer. Shut her down. Cheers, everybody. So there we have it. The final completed product. I'm happy with it. I had an idea at first. And then when I went out in the bush, no go, came back, redid it the way I wanted, got the parts I was able to get to redo it because right now, of course, supply chain issues, one day you can see it, next day you go to order it, it's no longer there. But I got it done, and there's going to be another one I'm going to build in the future, but it's going to be for a power tank system, not a compressor, so it's going to be a little bit different, but still going to work the same. And then... Yeah, got some things on the go. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody leaving comments and likes. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Shut it out.